Why is Paul Joseph Watson such a joyless chode? Like, seriously, the guy seems like he's devoid of any fun in his life. If anyone actually watches any of this guy's videos or looks at his tweets and is like, Yeah, that Paul Joseph Watson guy, he seems like a really cool guy to hang, uh, to hang out with. I so want to spend time with him at a party. I really have to wonder... How the fuck can you come to that conclusion? Because after after seeing the tweets that I'm about to show all of you in this video, I just really have to wonder, how can you look at this guy and be like, heh, that's a really cool guy. He seems like a lot of fun to hang around. Anyway, without further stalling, let's look at some stupid Paul Joseph Watson posts, shall we? People obsessed with Halloween who don't have any kids are themselves children trapped in a permanent state of adolescence. Time to grow up. Modernity. And if you don't know what this video is, it's a, it's a video of these women attending some twerk class, and of course they're shaking their asses, and most normal people would be like, that is really hot, but no, Paul Joseph Watson just doesn't like that for some reason. And I would show the video here, but it might be a little too hot for YouTube. I mean, there's nothing really, there, there's no nudity or anything, but I don't know, I don't want to run any, run any risks. And plus, by the way, these tweets are going to be linked in the description for all of you to see. So if you really want to see a room full of women twerk, which I really don't blame you if you want to see that, it's in the description. Go. Anyway, this is why terrorists hate us. And this video depicts some bartender lady uh, putting a cup in her ass and then aiming that cup while well, it's still in her ass under a drink dispenser and then it pours beer or any kind of alcohol, whatever, into the cup and then she serves it to the guy. And personally, I don't really find that very hot. I would be kind of worried there'd be a dingleberry on my cup. But hey, if the guy likes it and she likes it, they're both consenting adults and they both seem to enjoy this. Why is this an issue, Paul? Why do you care? Like, I also find your tweet very strange. This is why terrorists hate us. So should we, should we cowtail to what terrorists want us to be like? Should we implement Sharia law here in the States? Would that make you happy? Because that sure as hell would make the terrorists happy. And again, the video he posts here is probably, it's potentially a video that's a little, again, too hot for YouTube. So I'm not going to run any risks and show the video here and potentially get a strike on my channel. Again, if you really want to see this video, and especially if you really like nice asses, then watch the video. <laughs> I'm sure you'll really, really enjoy it. It's in the description. And he made this follow-up tweet, which is probably even more dumb than his initial tweet. Here we go. The fact that people in this thread more vehemently defend the quote-unquote freedom of a barmaid to serve beer with her ass than they will defend freedom of speech tells you everything you need to know about the current state of Western society. Oh, boo-fucking-who. Oh, noes. People are putting me on blast for some stupid things that I said. I gotta make this into a free speech issue somehow. Again, another <laughs> person pulling the free speech card whenever they get uh, called out for something stupid they said. But anyways, let's, let's get to the point here. Why are you such a no-fun Puritan, dude? Like, <laughs> getting mad over twerking classes or a barmaid putting a cup in her ass willingly and pouring beer into that cup? Like, who are they harming? Like, what is the fucking issue here? Don't you put the left on blast for the same exact thing? Getting, getting, getting angry over the, over things that are, you know, inconsequential or joke policing, things like that, and yet here you are getting mad over things that shouldn't matter in the slightest. Again, who the fuck is the, is the barmaid <laughs> offending? Who the fuck is the, well, they're offending you, of course, but I should say, who the fuck is the barmaid harming? Who the fuck are these women who choose to go to a twer twerking class uh, harming? No one, absolutely fucking no one, dude. And I really don't understand why you really don't like seeing these things. And on top of that, it seems like you go completely out of your way to seek out videos like these and then complain about it on Twitter. Maybe, maybe he does secretly get off to it. <laughs> maybe he just wants to seem like this uh, moral, upstanding guy who would never, never look at women lustfully like that. <laughs> maybe he just wants to seem like a no-fun Puritan to his presumably no-fun Puritan audience. That's really the only explanation I have for him going out of his way to find videos that like this that piss him off, that depict hot women doing hot things. <laughs> He's probably, he probably jerked off while writing these fucking stupid tweets, honestly. And also, adults who like Halloween 
who the fuck are they harming to? Like, at least they want to have some fun in their lives, like adults who like to dress up in costumes and shit, or, uh, or go to Halloween parties while dressed up in costumes. That shit sounds like a lot of fun. I'd still participate in that. I'd love to hang out with people like that, who, you know, actually have fun in their lives, not people like you who want to be fucking no-fun Puritans because, for whatever reason, you want to seem, like, all grown-up and adultish when really... Most people don't want to fucking hang out with people like that because they're so devoid of fun. So Paul Joseph Watson, please, for the love of God, find some joy in her life. Find something that you that, that's actually fun because I'm sure seeking out videos that you know are going to piss you off and then bitching about it on Twitter, that doesn't really seem like fun at all. I mean, maybe it's fun to you, okay, but for most normal people... That's not fun at all, and I don't think people would want to hang out with a person who does that. So congrats, Paul Joseph Watson. Congrats on showing the whole world that you're nothing more than a stupid right-wing snowflake. But before I end this video, I want to show something off here for all of you. Just to put, just to put the little cherry on top. This is going to be real rich. <laughs> just you wait. Uh, Paul Joseph Watson, a few years ago in 2015, tweeted this. Welcome to 2015, where self-righteous, joyless, intolerant, political correct Puritan thought police have ruined everything. Oh my god, Paul Joseph Watson, do you have any self-awareness whatsoever? My fucking god, it seems like you, it seems like you lack any self-awareness. What the fuck? You're essentially talking about yourself in this tweet, Paul. You are the joyless, intolerant, politically correct thought police because you fucking bitch about shit that shouldn't matter at all. People having fun, for God's sakes. You tweet and complain about people doing things that, that, that they find fun. What the fuck, dude? Like, imagine fucking complaining about shit like that. So this is my final plea to you, Paul Joseph Watson. Have some fun. Find some joy in your life. My god. Stop trying to tear other people down who are simply having some harmless fun. Again, sh they're doing shit that harms fucking no one. Everyone in these videos are having fun. The barmaid, she's consenting. The, 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 the guy who, uh, who was getting the cups that was in her ass served to him was completely fine with it and he asked for it. And people who want to dress up in Halloween costumes and and do shit like that even though they're grown adults they're having fun learn what fun is paul joseph watson seems like such a foreign concept to you and that's really just deeply concerning stop being so lame for god's sakes jesus anyway that's all i have to say Bye bye